السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن ڈیٹا سائنس ان ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا کور ریلیشن انالیسس اسپیسیفکلی وی ول فوکس آن ٹو ایسینشیل میتھڈس دا آر کوفیشنٹ وچ میجرز دا اسٹرینتھ آف دا لینئر ریلیشن شپ بٹوین ٹو کنٹینیوس ویریبلس اینڈ دا چوائس اسکوائر وچ ہیلپ اس ڈٹرمن اف دیر از اے ریلیشن شپ بٹوین ٹو کیٹاگوریکل ویریبلس Correlation analysis is all about uncovering the relationship between two variables. It allows us to answer the questions like do higher temperature lead to increased ice cream sales or is there a connection between age and income? To kick things off, we will start with the R coefficient which is particularly useful for analyzing the continuous variables. Before diving into the R coefficient, Let's quickly recap the variance and covariance. Variance measures the dispersion of data points from their mean giving us insights into how spread out the data is. Covariance on the other hand indicates the direction of the linear relationship between two variables. It tells us how two variables move together. The formula of covariance is similar to that of variance but it incorporates two variables instead of one. A positive covariance means that as one variable increases the other tends to increase as well. A negative covariance indicates that when one variable increases the other tends to decrease. However, covariance does not convey the strength of the relationship. For instance, consider a data set here, the covariance between age and experience is calculated to be 182.75. This indicates a positive correlation between the two. But how strong is that? Let's find out by calculating the R coefficient. To calculate the R coefficient, we divide the covariance by the product of the standard deviations of the two variables. The resulting value ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. The negative 1 indicates strong negative correlation. The positive 1 indicates strong positive correlation. and the as the values come closer to zero there is a very weak to no correlation in our data set we find the r coefficient to be 0.995 indicating a strong positive correlation between age and experience as we can see a strong positive correlation between these two variables we can predict years of experience based on age variable in this case age would be called independent variable and the years of experience would be called dependent variable now there is another related term we should discuss that is r squared this statistic gives us the proportion of the variance in the dependent variable that can be predicted from the independent variable it is also known as coefficient of determination for example we can conclude that 99% of the variance in experience that is our dependent variable is predicted by the age that is our independent variable so far we have focused on numerical data but what about categorical data let's consider a scenario where you have surveyed customers in a store and categorized them into different age groups such as under 30 30 to 50 and over 50 You have also recorded their preferences for three types of products electronics clothing and groceries now you want to test if there is a relationship between age group and product preference this is where we create a contingency table similar to what we discussed in our last session using cross tabulation to analyze this relationship we will set up two hypotheses The null hypothesis states the preference of product is independent of the age group. The alternate hypothesis states that the preference for product is dependent on the age group. If the null hypothesis is rejected, it would indicate that the age group plays a role in the product preference and then we will accept the alternate hypothesis. We have the observed frequencies in the table. Next we will calculate the expected frequencies for each cell in the contingency table. The formula to calculate the expected frequency is row total multiplied by column total divided by the grand total 
or the total number of values in the data set. For example, the expected frequency for electronics among the under 30 age group is computed as follows. Raw count for under 30 in electronics category is 100, while the column count in the electronics category for under 30 is 120. We will put the product of the, these two in the formula and then divide with the total number of values. We will get a value 40. We will repeat this for each and every cell in our contingency table. To compute chi square, we take the square difference of each cell in the observed and expected frequency table. After dividing by the expected frequency, we sum them all. Now we get a chi square value. Now it's time to compare our calculated chi square value with the critical value from the chi square distribution table. For this, we require two things the degree of freedom and the significance level. Degree of freedom can be calculated from this formula. The degree of freedom represents the number of independent comparison that can be made between the observed and the expected values. Higher degrees of freedom typically indicate more categories being compared leading to a broader range of possible variations. The significance level is typically considered to be 5% that is 0.05. Now let's match these values in our table. If the calculated chi square value exceeds the critical value, we reject the null hypothesis suggesting that, that the group doesn't influence the product preference. If the calculated value is less than the critical value, we fail to reject the null hypothesis indicating that the age group and product preference are independent. Since in this case the chi square value is greater than the critical value, we reject the null hypothesis and it suggests that the product preference is dependent on the age group. In this video, we explored the correlation analysis through the R coefficient for continuous variables and the chi test for the categorical variables. Understanding these relationships can provide valuable insights into your data. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.